everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Edgar Navarrete and today we are turning the Whataburger Patty Melt vegan. That sounds weird, right? Today we're making... The <laughs> today we're making a vegan version of the Whataburger Patty Melt. There it is. Hi. Uh, can I get two patty milks? Okay, you want the combos or sandwiches today? Uh, just the sandwiches and then an order of large fries. Alright, so we just ordered the patty melts and what we're gonna do is taste it. Well, first, yeah, we're gonna taste it. We're gonna break down the different ingredients in the, in the patty melts and then we will go to the grocery store, buy the ingredients to make it vegan and then go home and then make it. And then at the end, we'll do a taste test and compare it to the original, not vegan version, and see how it how it compares. All right, can I see your table time? Oh, yes. Thanks. Oops, sorry. Nope, Enjoy your meal. Thanks. So we got the goodies. Let's just break it down and see what's in this yeah. patty melt, and um, that way we can see what ingredients we need to buy. So, let's see what the patty melt has. We have what looks like to be Texas toast. It looks about the same size as the regular loaves of bread you buy at the store. And they feel like they have some butter. We see on the inside, I believe this is a, the top of the burger, so there is grilled onions. This is their creamy pepper sauce. Um, so that's at the top. We have one patty. And underneath the first oh. patty, we have Monterey Jack cheese. Wow. And then another patty. And then underneath that, the very bottom layer is another slice of Monterey Jack cheese. Simple. It's so melted. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think it's so melted because they, they probably apply the cheese when it's still on the grill. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess it's called the patty melt there for a go. reason. All right, let's try this first bite. I mean, I already know what it tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> Satisfying. All right, so I'm gonna finish this. Analyze the different flavors <laughs> and ingredients. How convenient. <laughs> and then we'll head to the grocery store, then back home, and we'll make a vegan version of this burger. We'll see you in a bit. We are back home, one burger down in the belly, oh, I don't know how I'm going to eat another one, alright, but we know the ingredients, we purchased the ingredients, and now it's time to make it vegan. So let me give you a rundown of all the ingredients we're going to use, and how we're going to replace some of the ingredients to make this burger, this patty melt, vegan. So here are the ingredients. In order assembly, Texas toast, yellow onion, the creamy pepper sauce will have will be made up of all of the following ingredients. Chipotle peppers, we'll be using the sauce, parsley, garlic, mustard, acid and milk for the buttermilk, salt, pepper, mayo, olive oil, and gravy powder. These are the ingredients to create the Powerpuff Girls. The meats. Daya Monterey Jack cheese. And that's it, those are the ingredients for the patty melt. Now let's get cooking. The first step is making the vegan buttermilk. It is made up of a plant-based milk and acid. You can use, you can use some lemon juice or you can use white vinegar. I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice, catch any seeds. Next step, we're going to cut the onion. So the first step is uh, sauteing some uh, garlic and some onion in a pan and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients, the rest of the dry ingredients uh, for the sauce. Uh, and then add water and bring to a boil. Adding in some olive oil and then the onion. And I'm only using half of the onion for the sauce. 
the rest of the onion will be used to, um, will be grilled and just added to the burger. Alright, so Edgar just added the garlic. And then I'm going to add the dry ingredients, so salt, pepper, parsley, about a tablespoon of mustard. That seems about right. Chipotle pepper sauce. Just the sauce because the peppers are really spicy. I've made that mistake so many times, so... So many times that every time Edgar opens one of those cans, he tells me about the mistake. Three quarter cups of water. Three quarter cups. And then finally the buttermilk. Beechen, beechen. Wow. Vegan, of course. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna let it come up to a boil and then let it simmer. We've added some cornstarch to the recipe to help it thicken up. I think we're getting there actually. We needed heat. As I'm explaining this to you, this is thickening up. Look at that. Oh! How's your patience now? It's worth the wait, huh? Yeah, look. It really just needed heat. There you go. Creamy pepper sauce. Oh my god. I need too too much. much heat. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the label isn't even showing. Here are the onions. We're gonna grill them until they're caramelized. Alright, what's happening now? Okay, the grilled onions are done. Now I'm just gonna form the patties and put them on the grill. Sizzle, sizzle. And this is the Beyond Meat. Wow. It's four minutes, five, four to five minutes per side. When are you gonna add the cheese? When we put them over. Alright, Edgar just added the cheese. He's flipped the patties. They're gonna be on there for another five minutes and I'm gonna put the covers so it helps the cheese with the Z melt a little bit better. Yeah, that's the one thing about vegan cheese is it's notorious for not melting. We're close to the finish line here. What's the finish line? Soaking yourself? Oh, uh, yeah. Look at this beauty. Texas toast. So what do we have here? So, we got all of the ingredients for a patty melt. Mm -hmm. We got the creamy pepper sauce. We got the grilled onions over here. We got two patties with uh, Monterey Jack cheese and then two pieces of Texas toast. Now, for assembly, on your bottom bun, you want cheese first, patty, cheese, patty. So I'm gonna grab this and place it like that. And then we want our creamy pepper sauce. It's so creamy. And then we add some onions. And then last but not least. Oh. How's that for a patty milk? So we are done with making the vegan patty melts. We have here the original one with real meat. And here is the uh, vegan one that we created. Okay, now we're gonna do a cross section. Whoa, look at this hef heifer. No, it's not a heifer. What? It's vegan? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a vegan one. Look, you can see the steam and the cheese and the sauce on top. Mm. Much meatier, but not meaty. <laughs> so let's do. Look at that. Vegan, regular. Honestly, the meat looks the same, right? Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I guess this is the, the test. I guess so. I'm gonna try the real one first. You wanna try this one? But don't tell me what you think yet. It's so big, it's hard to find it.
definitely much better when it's fresh off the grill. So cutting up didn't change. It's good. Okay, I think I have the flavors memorized. Now I'm gonna try our creation. I'm nervous. Yeah. I've never had a real patty melt, so I'm going. Do you wanna try it? No. He always asks me. I don't eat. eat. He always asks me. It's pretty close. Really? It's so close. Wow. You made a patty melt. If you gave me the vegan one, I would not be able to tell that this was vegan. Except for maybe like the size of it? The size, but I think the patties, you can make them thinner. Mm. Next time. It's good. Mm -hmm. Wow. We're food scientists. Success? Success. I mean, you've never had a penny milk? Never. <laughs> now I have. Yeah. It's good. Well, I think we're just going to sit down and enjoy the rest of these burgers. I will put the, the recipe for this vegan patty melt down in the description. Make sure to like this video, subscribe. Anything else you, you have to say? No, I'm just ready to dig in. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. We'll see ya. Bye. Canada, which one is vegan? I think he's a vegan dog. I think so.